Okay, so now we're gonna fight the Kirby team. Eight of them total. We start off from Wispy's Woods. The one thing you have to worry about is Wispy blowing high winds and other dangerous hazards. This would appear again in Melee as a flashback stage. If you defeat the Kirbys in the order that they came out as games, you get a special reward. So I'm gonna try to get that now. First, let's take out Donkey Kong, Kirby. Okay, so I think I messed that up, but... Next up, we fight Samus Aran. Notice it says her full name, Samus Aran. In the later Smash Brothers games, it would just say Samus. This game was also big on intro. We're now here on the planet Thebes. This is the only stage that would appear in all of the Smash Brothers games. Because it's a very awesome stage. You have the acid floor at the bottom. You can see some of the cosmos in the background. A couple other elements from Super Metroid if you look real close. Let's take out Samus for a second. Metal Mario, as I'm sure many of you are aware, first appeared in Mario 64. But Mario would get the metal box and become Metal Mario. Interestingly enough, that would be from when Shigeru Miyamoto had an interview from Super Mario World, and they asked him, what would the future hold for Mario? And Shigeru Miyamoto said, I'm not quite sure, but maybe Mario will wear metallic clothes. He, of course, was talking about Metal Mario, but we wouldn't know that until a few years later. Metal Mario always gave me a pretty tough challenge as a kid. It's still kind of difficult today, but let's take him out real quick. One of my favorites. The concept simple. It's almost like... If I had to compare it to anything, you, it would be compared to the space stations that you'll see later in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. It actually looks like a stage that I think Samus would have gone, and they could have very easily snuck it into Super Smash Bros. Brawl, but we'll get into that much later. For now, I'll just get through this real quick and show you guys a little bit about it. Don't really waste your time with the polygons, just get to the end of the stage as fast as humanly possible. They uh, did it in 29 seconds. I'm sure many of you are probably faster. So we continue our way to the fighting polygon team. We fight on the battle stage. Different variations of this stage would make it into the later incarnations. As well as different characters you would fight. In this game you would fight the polygon team. Melee fighting wireframes. And William Brawl. Alloyed. They sort of looked like this, but were crummy. One was like a version of Mario, one was a version of Captain Falcon, Donkey Kong. This was way better. It had all the characters in polygon form. Let's eliminate these guys real quick. There's 30 of them. And I'll show you guys the final boss.
finally, Master Hand. This enemy, as the final boss, would appear in all the other Smash Brothers games. But this is our first time we would encounter him. Me and my friends at the time referred to him as a Glover wannabe. I don't know if you ever played the game Glover, but giant gloved hands in the N64 days are kind of popular. I don't know why. We fight Master Hand. It looks like we're in possibly another dimension, outer space. This is actually the final stage. Can there be variations on this stage in future games? I thought that this was one of the coolest by far. Very ominous feel. The music is pretty scary. What made uh, Master Hand unique? He started out with high HP, and you had to lower it. And we're almost done here. So you beat the stage, you return into a young child's room, I suppose it is. Credits come up. You get to blast the names. You keep on going through all the names. You'll notice here it says Charles Martini. That's the voice of Mario. His name's Charles Marnet, but they goofed. going through all the credits, Satoru Iwata, and of course Shigeru Miyamoto. And when that's done, you're greeted to a title screen, in this case, Mario holding up a number one flag and saying you were great. That's it for classic mode. All you did now was you continued to beat the game with all the characters, and you got to see all their final title screens, which I will show you guys in a future video. But for now, that's the end of classic mode. We'll go back to the title again. Back then you had the one player mode, you had training mode. Versus mode, you just grabbed a friend, picked a stage, started the game. If we go into data, besides looking at our versus records, you can look up all the characters in the game. And I thought this was very cool, as it kind of predates the trophy concept from Melee. But go in the characters and you check out Mario you can read all about him it tells you what some of his most famous games were the original Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Kart we can find out about Donkey Kong it says that he's one of Mario's arch rivals Link Samus Yoshi back to Mario so as you can see the first game is kinda of bare bones but was highly addicting back in the day. The highlight of it, of course, being versus mode. After you beat the game with all the characters, all you really want to do is grab a friend, jump into the arena, and smash away. I remember the first time I played this game, Blockbuster Video was still around, and I rented it not knowing what I was going to get myself into. I just saw that Mario and Star Fox and Samus were on the cover, and it looked kind of neat. And I popped it into my N64, and boy was I in for a treat. So overall, this is one of my favorite of the series. I know it's very basic. Melee, of course, expanded on it, so did Brawl. But I really enjoyed this game, and I hope all of you will check it out too, and find the joy in it that I found all these years.